Hey, what's going on guys? It's Will and it's day 48 and we are going to be talking about whatever pops up in my head and hopefully it makes sense and hopefully everything works out and everything is good. Um, uh, I'm going to be a little bit honest here, brutally honest here. I... I've been I've been sad <laughs> I mean obviously I've said that like a few videos ago and this is going to happen and I tell myself this happens it's okay you're human this happens it's okay to feel sad it's okay to feel other emotions other than happy so I'm constantly reminding myself of that that it's okay the problem is is that whenever I used to get sad that sadness would consume me and will take over my heart. It would make me feel like garbage and feel like I don't belong. And then all of a sudden these voices in my head, these internal things, it's not necessarily a schizophrenic kind of voice, but just like an inner monologue from yourself telling you that you're not enough. You're, you know, why did you say that? Stupid stuff like that. So, and then you get random flashbacks and things like that. So, I am lucky that I'm taking care of my health. I may be 30 doing it, but at least I'm doing it. And that's that's good. There's a lot of people in this world who don't take their mental health. They don't take their mental health seriously. They think that there's nothing wrong with them. They think everything is fine. They think everything is cool. Well, I noticed that there was something wrong with with my thought process because it always constantly conflicted with other people's thought processes. And I always thought I was the person in the wrong, but turns out I'm not, there's nothing wrong with me. There's only something wrong with that person, but there's something wrong. But the thing is, is that there is something wrong with me, but I'm getting help for it. And I'm grateful for that. I'm very happy. And though I may feel sad now, I'm not going to feel this way tomorrow. I mean, and if I do, then it's not going to, it's not going to last long. My goal is to stay consistent. Doing a video like this every day is helping me reach that. Taking a picture every day is helping me reach that. Writing a quote every day. It's helping me reach that. <sighs> Life changes. Things are different. People change. And regardless, it's always going to happen. People change. Throughout your life, nobody's ever going to stay the exact same. <laughs> And for me, I've changed in a lot of ways, but still at the same time, I'm still the same person. I mean, I know that that contradicts what I just said, but for me, I felt like I never grew up because I resisted that. But now it's the time that I'm accepting growth and growing up and allowing myself to just be an adult here. A lot of people, they could be an, an adult <laughs> for a long time and act more immature than a young kid. I, I love people in this world. I show love to people in, in the world. I try to be as respectful and as kind as I can be. By no means am I any, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. There's only so much you can forgive and there's only so many times you can, freaking, you can forgive a person. But internally, it's good to just let that person go. And sometimes that will lead you to better things. Because the toxic that was holding you back is now out of your life. Out of, your, out of everything. And you can heal. Now, obviously, there's a healing process that needs to be done. So maybe in a way, that's why I'm a little sad. But this this won't last forever. It takes a while. Yes, it takes a while to accept. But I'm going to be just fine. And that I know. 
I, my sole purpose in life is just to show nothing but love and kindness to everybody who shows me love and kindness, but also even to people who don't and just live life peacefully and happily and move at a pace that is not on anybody else's time, but is on mine. Constantly, you are, when you're a kid, you're bombarded with a bunch of ideas of how your life should be, where you should be at life. And if I listened to the majority of these people, my life would be far worse than what it is now. Now, granted, am I fully happy with my life now? No. But the thing is, is that I was, I realized that my entire life, I was so focused about what other people wanted me to be and not thinking about what I wanted to be. And my goal is to be what I want to be. And I don't know, I don't know how to 100% do that. But what I do know is that I'm, I'm going to be kind and show love and that's all I can do like I said I love people but sometimes people won't love you and sometimes people sometimes people are just so crazy or into their own thing that they don't know how to empathize with other people so they only think about themselves and they end up hurting themselves in the process. And then they go on to self-destructive behavior and they destroy everybody else. <sighs> There's gonna be people out there in the world who don't know, who don't realize the error of their ways or what they realize is wrong until somebody points it out. But then it's about believing that person. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm saying. I feel like I had a point, but then I didn't have a point. So I guess I'll end this with a point. Be you 100% you. Accept you for who you are 100%. Don't give a shit about what anybody else says or what anybody else thinks because they don't matter. Your life is far too fragile for anybody else to be fucking with it. It's pointless to argue with people. Why waste your time arguing with people who don't listen? Why waste your time with any of this stuff? Focus on you. Be happy. If people can't accept you for who you are, cut them off your life. Cut cut them out of your life. You don't need that. You need to focus on you and what makes you happy. And sometimes you think that that person makes you happy, but they don't. Instead, they just stress you out more and make your life a living hell and make it worse. And sometimes it's just good to let go. And that's a good thing to let go. So this is a reminder to just people out there and also to myself to learn to let go. Like really let go. There are people that are only there to see you fail. And you got to learn to let go of that and focus on you and your goals and everything. Just do that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Bye-bye.